I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand end behavior from the given polynomial function. The question here is use the degree and the sign of the leading coefficient of each function to describe the end behavior of the corresponding graph. So we have four examples here. You will notice that these examples are written in factored form. You need to write their degree leading coefficient and from there you need to get the end behavior of the given polynomial function. Now how is degree and coefficient related with end behavior? What we learn is that if the leading coefficient is positive that means a of n is the leading coefficient. If it is, if it is positive in that case the characters of the graph is right side up. So in that case it is right side Right. This is one thing which we learn. It really means that if you sketch graph of a polynomial function with leading coefficient positive, in that case, the graph of the function will move in this fashion. Do you see right side up? This is what it means. We have also learned that uh, if we have even degree function, even degree function, right? In that case, what happens? In that case, uh, the result is both sides are on the same side, right? So both ends are on the same side. So we say ends on same side. Correct. So uh, if it is even, then if right side is up, left will also be up. That is what I mean when I say even degree functions. And if I have an odd degree function, in that case, what is the characteristics? In that case, we are looking for opposite ends, right? So the graph moves from opposite end, right? So your graph moves from third quadrant, it moves to one, opposite ends, right? For even degree, same, right? Two to one. That is what we have learned so far. And this really helps to find end behavior from degree and leading coefficient, correct? Now, here we are having another challenge and that is, we have not given you the equation in standard form. We have given you equation factored form. So you have to multiply and find the leading coefficient and its sign. So that is very important to do. Okay. So some of you can pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestion. And here are my suggestions. Let's begin with the very first polynomial, which is f of x equals to x times 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. Now in that case, degree will be, so if you multiply these x values, see, x with 2x and then with x, then you will get a term which will have highest degree. And clearly, x times 2x is 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. So what term we get here? We get a term which is 2x cubed, right? So this gives us two informations, that is, degree is 3 and leading coefficient a n, let me write, is plus 2, right? Let me write plus 2, since plus is important for us to know, right? Degree 3 means odd, right? And behavior we could write now from here, that is to say, if x is approaching positive infinity, in that case, y will approach, since this is positive, right side up, kind of like this, it will approach positive infinity, right? So it will also be positive infinity. If x is approaching negative infinity, since the degree is odd, we are looking for opposite ends. Do you see that? So y will approach negative infinity. So that is how you could actually answer such questions. I hope the concept is clear now, so you can actually solve uh, the rest of the questions. Let's move on. So here we have cube 2 and 3. So the degree in this case is 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. We could separately write the degree also. In this case what we see is that degree is 3 plus 2 plus 1. So you have to add them all when you multiply you get 7. And uh, leading coefficient an is equal to you have to do cube of x, which is x cubed, square of 2, which is x squared, 
and x. So when you multiply all of them, you get x cubed times x squared times x. So it is x to the power of 7, which gives us leading coefficient of 1, right? So leading coefficient is 1, okay. It was a good idea to multiply first. Let me write x to the power of 7 here, and then I'll write degree as 7 and leading coefficient as plus 1. Now from here, you know it's again an odd degree, plus 1, same kind of thing. So you expect exactly the same result, right? 3 plus 2, I did a mistake. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. I'm sorry, this is 6, not 7. So this is 6, not 7. Perfect. Okay, this is better, right? We've got some variation. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay. So the degree is even. So what we see here is degree is even and this is positive leading coefficient, right? That means right side is up. That means x approaches infinity, y also approaches infinity. And even means we are looking for same ends, right? Same ends. So in this particular case, uh, the end behavior is kind of like this. Do you see that? So we can say when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity, not negative infinity. Correct? So that is how we will do this one. Now let's do the next one a bit carefully. Okay, this time uh, let us use a different thing. So what we have here is x terms is x squared times x. Let me do it in steps x squared times x. Now here we have minus x cube, bro. So we should do minus x cube. Do you understand? So when you do that, what do you get? You actually get negative x to the power of 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative x to the power of 6. That means degree is even. So it is even degree and leading coefficient is negative. Do you see that? So in this particular case, we land up with even degree with negative leading coefficient. Negative means right side down, right? Right side down. Even means both same sides. So from here, you should be in a position to write end behavior, correct? So right side down, so you'll say x approaches infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Both same ends, x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity, correct? So that is how you should be doing it. Now the last one, I think by now, you must be an expert to do this. It is not that difficult, right? So write it down and then check with my solution. So here the strategy is, again, we have to multiply. This is like x squared term and this is minus x. Do you see that? So we are multiplying x squared with minus x with x to the power of 6. It is very important to note this is minus x. So what we get is minus x to the power of, add the coefficients, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 6, 9, right? So what we get here is odd. So degree is odd and leading coefficient is negative. Now, if it is odd and negative, then you expect what kind of behavior? Odd and negative. Negative means right side is down. Odd means opposite ends. Do you see that? And so you can say when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity, right? Positive infinity. When x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity. This is because the leading coefficient is negative and degree is odd. I hope that summarizes very clearly how you should be proceeding when you have polynomial function in factored form. Correct? Now here is a test question for you. Write down the characteristics for the function f of x equals 2. See, I'm just kind of changing the functions a bit. We have not dealt with this kind of an example earlier, right? So I'm writing 2 here and see, I'm writing 3 minus x, correct? So that is your question to do now. Find out the leading coefficient and then find the degree and also the end behavior, right? So try to do this question. It should be a good practice for you. Thank you and all the best.